up, y'all? I look like I'm about to rob the place or something. But, anyways. Ugh. Just got done going through the pharmacy to get Nora's medicine. Um, and I'm on my way back home from lunch. Um, in this crazy lunch traffic. People cannot drive. Um, but anyways, what was I going to say? This mask life is so crazy. And you know, it's been almost a year. It's crazy. I was just thinking, it's so crazy to think about that we have been wearing masks for almost a year now and it's just so hard to get used to you know it's just like what I still just look at people when I'm going through the drive-thru or wherever and I'm just like are we really wearing masks right now it's just crazy I can't imagine like the people that <laughs> actually have to wear them all day um, it's just hard to get used to but anyways I am super excited about something <clears throat> that looks like it's going to come to fruition in our life in the near future, and I'm just really happy about that, and I'm just thinking about how blessed we are. You know, this year has not been easy for us, um, especially, you know, for Ari, and so it's just been tough um, for different reasons. So, with that being said, something positive is about to happen in our life, and I'm just super excited. So, I just want to give God, you know, give God the glory and thank Him for, it. it's just, it's interesting looking at things, how things happen in your life, and, you know, seeing God at work and His timing, the way that He just so effortlessly puts things together, you know? You don't know what he's doing but then you can look back and see wow he had that planned out you know like with timing and everything so anyways um some things you know i i'll never understand um some things i'll probably always struggle with you know that's just what i'm realizing in life is we're human i mean we're gonna we're going to have our flesh wants to sin. Our flesh wants, you know, what we don't have. Our flesh wants to do what we're not supposed to do. But as long as we just put our spirit in check, you know, as much as we can and just continue to pray to God to help us, show us the way, help us make the right decisions, you know, it'll all, whatever is meant to be will ha end up happening in the end. And, you know, I just, just, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for every blessing that I've been given. You know, God's been good to me and us. And I'm just really thankful. So, anyway, I hope y'all are having a good day. Um, working. Like I said, I just had to run to the pharmacy. I was just thinking about that. Um, but the girls had, we had an amazing Christmas despite it being a world pandemic, <sighs> global pandemic, um, we had a great Christmas. The girls got, you know, everything that they wanted. Um, we had an amazing visit with our families, all of our family. <clears throat> we got to see pretty much everyone, um, except for my brother and um, my sister-in-law and, you know, like my cousins, some cousins and aunts and uncles, but, you know, we got to see pretty much everyone in our immediate and our extended family, and, which wasn't, you know, it's not that many people because right now we're being really selective who we're around, and we just made that exception for Christmas, um, but, you know, we're not being around anyone else, and we don't go around anyone else. <laughs> literally work at home we already does school at home like we don't get out of the house except to the grocery store and to run errands which we wear masks for so 
anyways, don't know why I felt the need to explain that, but I did. So, <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, we had a great Christmas. And um, I'm driving Joseph's truck because mine needs some light bulbs. And not just the light bulbs. Not just the light bulbs, but um, like the whole housing of the light bulbs. So we're going to have to order that. Um, but for my tail light. So, um, yeah, we had a good Christmas. What else? Um, good time with family. Good gifts. Um, let's see. Um, we set up on my dad's phone. Ari helped put FaceTime on his phone. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to see and communicate with them more often because I know like especially right now the isolation you know especially with um, the elderly is it sounds like a weird word to use but you know what I'm saying like our parents and stuff um, you know we have jobs to to do so that keeps our mind busy and occupied but like the Bible says you know the devil I mean the um, what is it? Um, what is the word? What is it called? The, um, my mind just went blank. It's the devil's workshop. Uh, um, I'll think of it when I, when I get off of here. An idle mind is the devil work. De ugh. An idle mind is the devil's workshop. Okay, there, I got it. But, um, so, you know, it is really hard for them not seeing anyone and you know so hopefully that'll help but yeah I will talk to you later I'm gonna get back to work and I hope everyone has a great day and great rest of your week it is about to be the new year and for the new year I am gonna lose this weight so I'm just gonna let my actions speak louder than my words and just do the damn thing Look forward to that I transform transforming my body and we'll see how it goes uh, hey. hey 12 17 she's just mommy. waking up mommy. <gasps> Ooh, sorry baby we turn that light on <gasps> Ooh, what is that <gasps> yes your own cleaning set isn't this so cute? Mommy, open. You love it? Mommy, You sleep good? No. Mommy, open. You like it? Mommy, open. Okay, I'll open it for you. Oh, yes, girl. Yes. And look, you got a whole set.
Okay. Jesus, 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 Jesus. 